Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music, and in today's lesson, I'll teach you how to play DA Games song uh, for the path of genocide, and I'll teach you the very catchy chorus part, the um, bit of the chorus where it's very catchy. <laughs> okay, so it'll go something like this. So what you can do with the left hand later on when I teach you, you can put the left hand one octave lower, it will sound very boomy, something like this. was arpeggio and like that's a bit more advanced I'll teach you in another time but I'll teach you the basic chords and the basic melody of exactly what the melody is in this piece so uh, pay attention in this lesson then I guess what you can do in this lesson right now is to take down notes as I'm telling you the exact notes so that you will remember what to play instead of just <laughs> just I guess I don't know if you want to like keep following this lesson, that's okay. Like rewind it and replay it or slow it down, that's okay too. But the best way to benefit the most from this lesson is to take down the notes that I play. All right, so let's get straight right to it. Uh, we're gonna start with the right hand and the right hand goes something like this. So we start on D on the right hand. So D, E, F, E, D, D, C, C, and then higher C, B flat, A, G, G, F, B flat, A. And then what you do is an octave, so D and D together, D, 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 and then another D. And then I'll tell you a trick, you just repeat this line again, the exact same thing for the right hand. So D, E, F, E, D, D, and then C, C, higher C, C, B flat, A, G, G, F, B flat, A, and then the octave Ds again, D, 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 and then D again. Yeah, that's basically it. Let's go through it one more time with the right hand and just follow up and try and play it with me. Okay, let's go. D, E, F, E, D, D, C, C, high C, B flat, A, G, G, F, B flat, A, D, 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 and then D, D, E, F, E, D, D, C, 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 B flat, A, G, G, F, B flat, A, D, 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 D. Okay, so if you didn't get that, you can rewind it and try it again. But right now, what we're going to do next is to work on the chords for the um, left hand. Yeah, okay, so... The good thing about this song is you don't really have to play the exact chords, you can actually just play the bass note of the chords. But I'll tell you the chords regardless anyway. Uh, the basic chords for this, the first chord is D minor, second chord is, um, oh no, this is D minor, D minor is D, F and A, the second chord is C major, C, E, G, Third chord is G minor, G, B flat, D, and then the next chord is C major again, C, E, G, and then a passing note, which is C sharp, you can play over an octave, and then the last chord is D minor, D, F, A. But what we'll do in this song, we'll just play the bass note, so I'm just telling you the chords so you get the main structure of this song, but yeah, we can play the left hand with 
the bass note like this. So follow me. So all of the bass notes is played as an octave. So it's like from the D to the next D. So D and D. The first note for the left hand is D and D, like corresponding to the D minor. So D and D. And then the next one, since it's C major, so it will be C and C. The third note. Since it's G minor, it would be G and G. And then, the fourth one goes back to C major, so C and C. And then the passing note, which is C sharp. C sharp and C sharp, okay? And then, the final one is D minor, which is D and D again. What you can do, you can add the notes in between if you really want to play the chords. So, if it's D minor, you can just add as well. Yeah. Okay, so let's go through one more time for the left hand. So D and D, and then C and C, and then G and G, and then C and C, and then C sharp and C sharp, and then D and D finishing off. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six and you repeat it twice because the two lines in this chorus is the same. Okay, so right now, I'll play slowly for both hands together and you can see how the left hand matches with the right hand. I'll tell you exactly when to press it. So, ready? Together. 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 In between. Together. And then you repeat it again. So when it's a bit more faster, it'll be... Okay, so basically, I think I screwed up a little bit. So at the start, it is together, and then together right here to two Ds. Together, together, and then in between, together, a bit faster, together, 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 together. So when you get the rhythm, it's actually quite simple. So it's like da 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 da. Yeah. So just kind of beatbox it out if you want. It doesn't really matter because getting the rhythm is the most important part. When you get the rhythm, you can play it faster. One last time before we finish this off. So I'll go through it slowly, slowly one more time and you just try and match it up with it. Okay. So together, 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 here, together. Enjoyed this tutorial. 
I quite like this chorus as well. It was pretty catchy when I first heard uh, this song today. It was I was gonna play it two days ago, but I was a bit busy with gigs, uh, performing for quite a few weddings. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, try it out for yourself. What you can do, rewind the lesson if you didn't catch something because I stuffed up a little bit and, um, in the middle of the tutorial. But I guess just, yeah, follow through the tutorial, follow through the lesson. And what you can do after this lesson, you can check out my other lessons for the other songs if you enjoy my other songs as well. And yeah, see you next time. Hey there, I'm glad that you finished this lesson. You must love music just like I do. So don't forget to subscribe for more of these lessons on many other new songs in the future. As a reward for finishing this lesson, I firstly want to give you a free trial on the piano method that I have created and use every day in my piano covers, spending around 10 to 20 minutes learning and recording a song almost instantly without the slow methods of sheet music or synthesia. Secondly, if you are a curious student who wants to learn more than what is in this lesson and download the full chords and melody of this and every other song in the future for you to play for yourself starting from this song onwards, then become my Patreon. And for your final gift, click the video on the right to view my full performance of this very song that you have just learnt.